Hey everyone, it's Cassandra Jaramillo with Guide Live. Here with me is Mauricio Ockman and Fernanda Castillo, who are here in Dallas to talk about their new movie coming up that's called Ya Veremos. It comes out in theaters August 31st. Thursday, yes, yes. Yeah. Labor Day weekend. Which so is very exciting. We're very excited. <laughs> yeah. Tell me a little bit about what this movie is about. It's about a boy uh, who has a problem with, with his eyes and he, he has to get a surgery. And he has like these parents, Mauricio and I, <laughs> who are like fighting all the time. They are divorced. And uh, this little guy makes a, a bucket list of things he wants to see before getting surgery. And all the, the only thing is he wants to do this, these things with both Mom and Dad. of his parents. <laughs> And that's the problem because they are like dogs and cats. And that's the beauty of it. <laughs> that, 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 that's where the comedy comes in. <laughs> Definitely. So yeah. you two have been in telenovelas, películas. For me and a lot of Latinos probably watching this, you know, you recognize these two from a lot of those shows that your mom made you. You were little. But now going from the small screen to the big screen, mm -hmm. this is a huge, you know, move for you guys and it's involved with the US. How does that feel as, you know, Latino actors in this industry? We're proud. Yeah, it feels amazing. I mean, uh, we've done, we've done uh, movies, uh, theater, uh, TV uh, since, I don't know, like, like 15 years ago. <laughs> Yep. And um, we know each other very well. Uh, I really admire Fernanda, and I respect her as an actress, as a human being. And to collaborate with her again uh, in this uh, really funny and touchy film uh, feels uh, really good. It's it's amazing to have this project, and we're very very proud um, of 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 this story because it it it's about uh, family values uh, to. Uh, stop wasting time and just see uh, like like your kids like like but really see f see for them you know and um also uh it's like it, it, it's about a uh, family who's um falling apart you know and it, this is like a story that reunites uh family so it has like a really power message and we're very excited that in Mexico, it's been like a huge success, and now uh, it's the time uh, for Latinos in the U.S. to watch this amazing film. And we are proud, like, to bring a, a movie that has like a very powerful message, and that uh, shows a different Mexico, like a, with beautiful places and with good people, and it's important also. I love that. Yes, the characters in this film are very human, yeah. right. very normalized. Um, you know, it's always exciting to to kind of see like the uh, ex you know fun cartel shows, right? But it's nice to see just like your average Latino family depicted in this movie, yeah, going through real things like divorce, right? You know, raising a child. Um, so I, you know, I already got to see the the movie from a <laughs> press reading, but of course, you know, viewers will get to see it hopefully on August thirty first. Now, um, for some of the American audiences who haven't gotten to know you guys, you know, uh, Fernanda, you started acting when you were a teenager, right? Yeah. And so they're they're seeing and so you, you. And, mm -hmm. and same yeah. thing with you, Mauricio. They're seeing you now, uh, you know, well into your career. And Mauricio, something about your story that really touches me is that um, you were born in the U.S., uh -huh. right? right? And then adopted by a Mexican a, couple. A Mexican couple. Right. What are things that you want your fans in America, English-speaking fans that don't know you guys to know about your personal stories, that you're like, I'm so proud about this in my life, or... Uh, I'm so proud that I've made it so far. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah it's like, uh, I don't know, it's, 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 it's really, uh, my story is really a story about a, a boy uh, searching for his dreams, you know, and, and, uh, it's like I, I, I already made it, you know, and feels really good. Uh, but but the, 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 the most important thing is that since, uh, I mean, from being a, a kid that doesn't know uh, his bi biological parents to, to, to like, I, I, I found myself, you know. I'm my, now I'm my own dad, my 
own mom and uh, I, I'm like uh, I'm, I'm, I'm all that you know it's like I don't I don't need anything else right. to know that, that that I'm loved and that's that's uh, that's the kind of message that I want to send because there's people out there and, and, and little boys out there or even older people that uh, they keep searching for, for someone or for something, you know? And my, my only advice is the search within you, you know? For me, my path as an actress was like really difficult because I was like different to perfection, like imposed by t television in Mexico. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, I wanted to be an actress, a musical actress, uh, since I was like four years old. Uh, and I think I, I got to believe in myself so strong that I defeated like all the obstacles. And now I know that uh, even I'm doing a, a building as a character or uh, it's a, a bad woman or a mother or uh, many women are, are inspired uh, about my story that n I didn't need needed to be per perfect mm -hmm. to to be successful and and I think that's very inspiring for most of people that that we are always like searching to be like what what we think other people want us to be mm -hmm. and if you realize uh, the most important thing is to be yourself mm -hmm. and to be unique there is the answer to uh, to a successful path, I think. Yes, no, I love that. And, and again, because you two got started in acting so young, mm. and then you know making this transition, and you know it, it it is true that for a lot of actors who try to make that international move, it can be challenging, right? Because it's almost like you have to start all over, over again. Right. Yeah. But I am excited to see how you two have navigated that and. Um, being proud of your roots is also very Yeah, important. we are. <laughs> and I know that you two are very proud of your culture and your heritage, but is there any part of you that wants to do more projects in the U.S. and, and kind of make, you know, more of that um, transition? Like, I mean, your your father-in-law, Eugenio Derbez, you uh -huh. know, he's kind of made that. Doing it great. Exactly. Yeah. I would love to work in the U.S., but... Uh, I really think there are like a lot of stories uh, that need to be uh, like talked about mm -hmm. in Spanish, mm -hmm. still in Spanish. So I would like to be acting uh, even when I don't have teeth and gray hair. Ah. Uh, I would love that. And I don't care if it's in Spanish, in English, in Mexico, in Argentina. It, I, I, don't, I don't really care. Uh, I think that the most important thing is to continue acting, to continue um, like defeating the obstacles and, and continue being proud of each project I do. So that's the important thing. Maybe if it comes over here, that would be great, but, but it, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be like that for me to find it like um, amazing, right? And same with me. I mean, since I was a little kid, I, the, the only all I wanted is it was to act, you know, and uh, and doing movies, plays, TV. So it doesn't for me the the language or the country is it's, it's irrelevant, you know. It's just about telling stories and having fun and just keep it simple. <laughs> I love it. Well, it was a pleasure Thank meeting Thank you guys. You. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. And. Don't forget, Ya Veremos, it comes out uh, August 31st in theaters. Yeah. It's in Spanish, but has English subtitles yeah. so exactly. for everyone. Yeah, enjoy it. Yes. Thank you.